Okay guys, best way to jack up when you're doing the bracket is the rear bracket. Um, you see what I've done? Uh, I've actually used penetrating oil on the bolts there and there, bolts there, there, and those two there. And these two bolts, obviously the bolts, uh, the nuts uh, need to come off and these two bolts are attached by a single place which is welded on the other side so they have to be knocked through. Now actually to do all this, the first of all you need to jack up your chassis so on me it's all that there's a, a good jacking point just there. I've used my huge draper jack which is brilliant and that's holding up the chassis. Uh, I've got these uh, hydraulic ramps as well so what I've done I've held the chassis up with the draper jack and I've dropped on this side, I've dropped the, uh, the, the little uh, pneumatic, um, uh, what do you call them, lifter. Um, so I've just dropped that. So now the wheel is now quite loose. You can see the smile of the leaf spring. So now it's ready to do. And I'm also using the other jack. Uh, just touching and just pro so I've used a small angle grinder to get the head off here this bolt came out nicely that bolt there was one th uh, there again you had to use the angle grinder it snapped halfway through undoing it um, I, used, I had to use a breaker bar to even move them at all um, now the thing is what I've done I've exposed the nut on this side by using um, two um, bars um, and um, you can see I threaded them through to pull down uh, the bracket itself uh, now it's exposed that so what I'm going to do now is clean that up um, oh by the way these were 17s you must only need a 17 sided socket uh, this will be a 22 socket again I think and uh, what I'll have to do now is clean that up and hammer a socket on and have a go at that um, that plate on this side I should be able to theoretically tap through once I got the bolts off so you can see how weak that was because this is just bent bent back what a mess so uh, this does need replacing. Okay, where we are, uh, using a crowbar, crowbar to actually hold the mounting up while I put pressure on this nut here. Uh, using a breaker bar, I've actually released the nut itself. Now I'm using an extension and a ratchet to actually, and it's coming off. Actually, uh, I used two crowbars to actually force this bracket down to actually expose the head of the, the actual nut here so I can get at it. And in fact, by pushing it down, it's actually stayed down this time. So I can actually now, so I'm working at getting this off. And that looks like it's coming off. And hopefully I'll be able to tap those two out carefully. Probably put nuts back on the ends so I don't damage the threads because I want to reuse that if I can. And hopefully that will all come off with that back. Brilliant guys. Look at that. It's come out. Uh, just put the bolts back on. Just put the bolts back on. Tapped out using the crowbars. Uh, worked it off. And loads of penetrating oil. And that's it. And that's the old bracket. Yippee! Look at that, eh? Now I've got some welding to do. Uh, I need a formulator plate for there. Uh, see, there's one thread still there. So one nut is still welded on there. So I need to do the same for this side and put a sheet across there. Same on this side. See, there's a big hole there where uh, a nut was welded on the other side, which is now gone. And the other thread, the other nut is still in place. So. I need to weld a sheet across there, a strip, uh, anyway. 
and clean all this area up. But wow, how about that, guys? Uh, see, that's the other end there, it's came off. Isn't this job great? Uh, amazing what you can do. So now, I'll just wait for the other, I've got a state of that. Hey, that's what it looks like when um, it should be replaced. <laughs> oh, that's what you call a mountain bracket gone west. Um, yeah, I wonder if you sell that on eBay as a memento. Hmm, maybe in the curiosity section. Oh. Looks vaguely like a skull. Uh, yes. The dead bracket. <laughs>